everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Me where we put 10 minutes on the clock and try and draw as much as we possibly can. Now, the challenge is a personal challenge, so whether you are drawing heads, torsos, full body, or if you are going to draw with markers, crayons, pencils, airbrush, digital tools, it does not matter as long as you are challenging yourself to try and get to that next level in your artistic journey. Now the one thing we do together is that we draw the same character and we are going to continue with the theme of Thundercats and today's character is Jackalman. Now if you do not know how to draw Jackalman or just don't know that character at all that is perfectly fine go ahead and hit that pause button and then go grab some reference and your materials and when you are ready come on back and we will get started. All right. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and put 10 minutes on the clock. And we're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. All right, so Jackalman. Um, <laughs> so the reason why I'm drawing Jackalman today is because I had a request for a werewolf. And while <laughs> Jackalman's in, well, he's a jackal, he's the closest thing I can get to a werewolf for, um, Thundercats at this moment. So that's the main reason why we're drawing Jackalman today <laughs> is because, like I said, he's the closest thing that I could do to a werewolf. So I'm hoping that this will be good enough for the person who asked for a werewolf. <clears throat> now, as far as the character goes, can't it can't be like oh I know everything about Jackalman I don't I know that he's one of the mutants um, right he was one he was one of the mutants and he was eh, I don't know would you say not one of the brighter ones <laughs> one thing that I remember is when Chitara was like running around him and, was, and she was like you always problem is you're not using your eyes you're just no, it's like, the problem is you're using your eyes and you're not actually using your nose. Or no, no, it was. You keep, you're not using your eyes, you just keep following your nose. And then he, like, literally ran into a wall. <laughs> and so, so like I said, he's, I would go off on a limb and say he's not one of the brighter ones. But he was always there. He kind of had this. I did like the way that he kind of spoke. But, but you know, doesn't didn't necessarily translate. All right, so that goes over here. Like so. Angry eyebrows. Here, here, goes out. One thing that's always weird about drawing anthropomorphic characters for me is the fact that they're so human-like, and I mean, I know that's kind of the point, until they're not, right? It's like they're so anthropomorphic until they're not. And so, bam, 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 okay, I think that's, I think that's good. It's where we need to be. So I know that there's an entire like race of jackalmen, right? 
and they didn't that was the one weird thing they didn't necessarily specify that this one was something specific it's just that he was the one that was part of the mutants right when they did their raid and it just seemed as though he was the leader but they didn't really make mention that there was a leader to to them right so it was kind of odd in my opinion like why is this person because he wasn't like he possessed much skill or anything like that i don't know i really don't know why this one was the one that was in charge but alas he was So that's the one we got, you know? <laughs> but if you have any information on Jackalman or why he was, why he, this specific Jackalman was the leader, I'd love to hear it. Because while I love Thundercats, I'm coming to realize that I don't, don't know as much as I thought I did. See, I'm not even coming back to fix to fix that. Like it's it's like nope. That's just gonna have to stay that way, and then I can come and uh, I can come fix it when I'm in my fix it stage later. Right, like I'll I'll break out the template. I'm trying, right? I'm trying to get more okay with going. You have an entire phase that happens later that allows you to clean things up like I don't need to be so ultra fixated on making it look nice and clean right off the bat do need to fill in the blacks though I think that's very important This is the hard part about uh, when doing uh, the Thundercats is that they're always like two-toned, which makes things really, really tough for what what I do. <laughs> just 
we're just gonna fill this in, to be honest, to probably make it better. Okay, so that's in then. It's like, wait, what? I thought I still had a minute left. I even looked at it. <laughs> it's like, I even looked at it and was like, oh, I still got like a minute. Nope, no minute. Well, there you go. <laughs> even looking at the clock, it must have been glare. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't finish. So close. Had to add a little bit of color there and we would have been done. But like I said, it happens. Sometimes you don't finish. Sometimes you do. It's okay. As long as you are constantly drawing on guaranteeing you you will get better you will get faster all right so <clears throat> if you are participating in this challenge please head on over to my discord channel and show us what you're working on show us what you've done the link is in the description below we would love to have you in the community but if you'd rather stay on youtube that's perfectly fine you but please hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified every single time that i drop new content thank you so very much and i will see you at the next episode